Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to the second day of uh, Buy Palma Conference, the second world conference on buy products of palms and their applications. Uh, we have a very uh, rich day today, packed with lots of uh, interesting uh, presentations and talks. Uh, we will start with the two keynote presentations uh, today. And also uh, we have uh, a following session in room A that is special session for Satrip's uh, OPT project, which is a joint project between uh, Malaysia and Japan on uh, OPT oil palm trunk utilization. And also we will have in room B uh, uh, very diverse topics on uh, sugar palm fiber composites, uh, as well as in room C, we will have uh, presentations on palm byproducts and fertilizers, as well as in food applications. Uh, without any further ado, I would like to hand it over to the uh, conference chairman, Dr. Mohammed Jaweed. Uh, the stage is yours. Thank you so much uh, that for that. So Bismillah rahman rahim uh, Good morning and good afternoon to Malaysian partners and Southeast Asian partners. So basically, this is our uh, keynote three speaker uh, of uh, the day um, uh, day two. Day two, we are going to present the keynote speaker three. Uh, he is the Prof. Sapwan Salid from University of Putra, Malaysia. He is going to talk about the sugar palm fibers, biopolymer, biocomposite, and other byproduct from the sugar palm. So Prof. Sapwan is a professor and currently head of the laboratory of biocomposite technology, Institute of Tropical Forestry and Forest Product, University of Putra, Malaysia. His research interests include natural fiber composite, material selection, bio-based packaging and concurrent engineering. Today, until now, he has authors or co-authors more than 1,000 publications in international journal, over 700 papers, 17 books, and 15 edited books, and one more than 100 chapters in book and conference. Proceeding seminar over almost 600, and Prof. Sapwan received Rotary Research Gold Medal Award, Alumni Award, University of Newcastle, uh, Australia, Five Star Role Model Supervisor, UPM, and Zimi uh, uh, International Award. SM Sapan was recognized as the first Malaysian to be confirmed fellowship by the US based, uh, by US -based Society of Automotive Engineers International. He earned his bachelor degree in mechanical engineering from University of Newcastle, Australia in 1990 and MSc from Lowborough University, UK in 1994 and PhD from the B. Montford University, UK in 1998. So we welcome Prof. Sapwan to give his keynote talk for today's session. Prof. Sapwan. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Javed. Let me share my experiences. So the title of my talk today is uh, Sugar Palm, Fiber, uh, Biopolymers, Biocomposite, and Other Byproducts. Uh, this is the outline of my presentation on sugar palm, sugar palm fiber, sugar palm starch, sugar palm biocomposite, and other byproducts. Uh, the sugar palm is known as uh, now a carbon tree in Malaysia or RN in Indonesia. Uh, bot botanically, it is called Arenga pinata purama, and it is from palmae family and naturally a forest species. The popular activity related to this tree is stepping of the sugar palm sets, making traditional sugar block. Uh, sugar block. This is what it's meant initially, uh, and also other byproduct like making vinegar, sugar, fresh juice, and fermented uh, drink and syrup. Okay, uh, the sugar palm is known with different name in different country, like now in Malaysia, Aran in Indonesia, Gumoti in India, and uh, the in UPM we know uh, we call it uh, sugar palm, you know, because in other place they tend to use uh, uh, the term aringa pinata. This is how the plant looks like, and uh, this is like looks like you know just uh, uh, the 
any any other pumps you know and uh, this is another version of that and the view another this is the taken from the you know the picture taken from the plantation there is one uh, plantation in the uh, in sabah uh, they really you know go into you know in the uh, the big uh, uh, plantation in this and the, the, this map show the the where we can find the uh, sugar palm but sugar palm mainly concentrated near uh, in malaysia and indonesia so we have the society of sugar palm development and industry in malaysia that cater for the uh, sugar palm development i'm the founding chairman and currently the, the current chairman and okay this is an interesting fact about sugar palm fiber you know it is claimed by some expert that you know it has a good quality that during hot weather it, it got a cooling effect and vice versa and the old construction the building that using the roof from sugar palm you know they can uh, after so long the, the fiber can still be used and uh, if any amount of uh, fiber buried underground for 100 years and they uh, for instance in using them for uh, ship cordage or rope the, the fiber can still be used you know this is very unique uh, property of sugar palm that's why you know, it is used by the during the sultanate of malacca in malaysia therefore as uh, materials for as material for a uh, small boat as well as uh, the the british in east india they use it as a ship cordage and this is the source of the, the plate where we can get the fiber uh, uh, in the trunk whereas uh, we call it ijo locally in Malaysia, and uh, so from the, the the plant we can get the fiber and we can make into different uh, type of fiber. Like in this case, is the woven fiber. This is closer look toward the the fiber. Where right? this is where the, the fiber is extracted, and you know that the, the extraction process is is uh, taking place manually uh, by some villagers like that, and this is. Uh, uh, the fiber after being collected and this is another view of that and this is ready in the factory and uh, they got loads of fiber ready to make product so uh, i want to highlight this this is the uh, very high quality fiber normally the company in indonesia they sell it to some company in germany just to clean the machine and the, the, the fiber is very good and it, 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 it's been cut and it can also be Make manually, you know, but in the woven fiber. Though the fiber itself from the plant is in a woven woven form, but we can also make in this into this form. Okay, I will review on the typical uh, uh, typical application. This shows mainly in Indonesia, as in this case for the roof for the the uh, the palace, very famous palace in Indonesia, and this is is a closer look of that, and. Uh, in one village that we visited in Kampung Naga in Tasik Malaya, the whole village used the, the roof uh, uh, from the uh, sugar palm fiber. It has been for generation. Even this one is a mosque. Even the mosque the roof also made from the sugar palm fiber. And they also make, uh, this is the, the, the factory that developed that. And if you go to Bali, we will find the ba Bali lamp, the cover made from sugar palm. And they also make these brushes and different type of brushes you know to for cleaning the bottles and uh, also and and for the for the brooms and and it is as i mentioned they are used for for you know ropes you know and as can stand for so long time and the, the traditional uh, the head gears by the achenis they make it into a very fine you know like like you know uh, the craft and also being used for uh, gazebo roof Okay, basically, why you want to go for sugar palm fiber? Because the main point is because it's an excellent resistance to seawater. That's why it's being used as a ship cordage in the past and then to make boat. And we have also some project on that. And this is a typical properties, you know, the important properties like density, the hemicellulose, the tensile, the, the tensile strength, tensile modulus. Uh, and the, the, the value is what 4.9 tensile strength, tensile, uh, tensile modulus, tensile uh, jet gigapascal. Tensile strength is 276 megapascal. And we can see the extraction method as compared to Kenaf, which is quite difficult. We have to use a water rating. But for the uh, sugar palm, you just take it from the plant and you can use immediately. And uh, this is some uh, like uh, diameters. 
uh, the fiber length can be up to 1.19 meters and fiber diameters uh, uh, from 94 uh, 300, 370 micron. Okay, this is uh, it's quite detailed. I, I'm not going to talk about this. This is the that we study the different uh, sugar palm uh, fiber from the, uh, Sabah and from Indonesia and from here, Peninsula Malaysia. We compare, you know, there, uh, of course, they, uh, which we found that the from Kuala Jempul, from the Peninsula Malaysia is better than the other place. As I, I mentioned in the beginning, that the sugar palm is known for their sugar, as name implies, you know, sugar palm, but this is how the process took place, you know, uh, and this is how they make the, 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 to prepare the sugar. And they call it sugar block. And also, this uh, sugar is very good sugar. They can use for the food sweetener, for our, our foods and our special delicacies in Malaysia, like here we call it chendol, and also for some, you know, uh, different uh, food stuff. Uh, this is really the, the syrup made from one company in Sabah. You know, from the sugar palm, uh, the sugar palm, uh, uh, palm sugar, and this is our product at UPM. We work with one uh, company to to commercialize this product from the sugar palm, and it's a different way of, uh, I mean, the packaging. And the fruit itself also is very good fruits. You know, we can use for daily for desserts, desserts, uh, and different form of desserts, and can use for pickle as well. And this is very important, the starch, you know, we have fiber and starch. Uh, starch, from the starch, we can see, uh, extract the starch. Uh, first, we can make into a flour, but at the end, we would like, we would like, we would like to have it in the form of poly, uh, biopolymer as uh, the, our matrix for composite. We mix with a, a plasticizer like sabital and glycerol uh, to form good uh, composite. And this is the process of producing the starch. And we add with some glycerol and, and, and sorbitol as pesticizer to make into the sugar palm starch biopolymer. Okay, other uh, uses is uh, the trunk, sugar palm trunk, and can be used for different uh, part plates and for the uh, uh, utensil and cutlery. And this is one example that we took from Indonesia. Okay, now you see, you see the real research on sugar palm uh, fiber composite. Uh, we published this work and the purpose of showing this, you know, we have done a lot of work on that and we published in terms of sugar palm fiber and polymer as well as composite. Uh, this is the, the list of different grant that we received from the, the uh, different agencies on sugar palm, like from Philippines on the development of starch composite from sugar palm. And we received also some grant from Ministry of Agriculture on different, uh, different uh, topics. And we work on the uh, for instance, on nano, we also work on nano uh, nano cellular sugar palm fiber, and uh, okay, we got some uh, budget uh, from this uh, this the Mosti to develop small boats. As I mentioned earlier, that the boat is very good material. I mean, the, the, the sugar palm is very good material to make an item like boats because you know it has got very good uh, pro uh, property against seawater and uh, it can be durable for a long time. And other thing we work on is also the, the hybrid of that uh, materials with different uh, starch and fiber. And uh, also recently we work to develop as uh, for the motorcycle part using the, we mix with the PLA as the biopolymer, but the fiber is from the, uh, from the sugar palm fiber hybridized with glass. One work that we have done is on the, in the application of sugar palm composite in so, uh, the back solar panel. See, this is really quite, um, quite interesting project. And uh, uh, really, we published in a good journal also and uh, with the finding, but we are working to, towards commercialization. And, uh, and the, currently we are working to develop this hybrid glass as well as sugar palm, uh, PLA, uh, sorry, sugar palm, um, uh, in this case, it's polypropylene uh, automotive part. Yeah, we are working on this as well. Okay, uh, this is really on the starch, on the starch biopolymer. Biopolymer we mix with the uh, bio, 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 I mean, with natural fiber, with the natural fiber from sugar palm. The earlier work, you know, it is really we started back in uh, 2012, and this is really the first attempt from our research group to develop 100% biodegradable composite from sugar palm. Biopolymer is hot sauce from sugar palm starch, and the fiber is from the 
uh, sugar palm uh, fiber, we call it ijo in our country. Yeah. So some result that we found, you know, in terms of strength, uh, tensile strength, tensile modulus, uh, they, they are okay. But later on, we we work on the on the uh, the in the form of uh, the the nanocellulose. So when we come in, when they are in the form of nanocellulose, they, they the performance are even much much better. Okay. So this is the development of the sugar palm fiber, uh, sugar palm starch biopolymer composite. We start with the just uh, sugar palm starch and then sugar palm starch and sugar palm uh, fiber. And then sugar palm cellulose with sugar palm starch. And we improve uh, working on sugar palm nanocellulose, uh, nanocrystalline and nano, nano related form with the sugar palm starch. And we extended the work uh, this is really the how we develop the nano nano cellulose composite, and we have very good result and a lot of papers that we publish. But are the status of highly cited papers in in, the, in, in this area, and uh, we publish in a good journal. And uh, this is some result, you know. And uh, we extend the work, you know, to include the cinnamon essential oil, you know, to improve the properties as far as anti microbial activities and also for the targeting for the food packaging. And this is how the, the flow looks like. And uh, this is some of the important uh, properties uh, from the sugar palm nanocellulose composite when we add some uh, the the uh, essential oil. Uh, OK, now uh, I will focus on product development. And as I mentioned, uh, we develop the boat, small boat from sugar palm, believing that, you know, the, the longer you soak this, uh, the material inside the water, the stronger it becomes, which is in, still is very, I mean, we feel very amazed that we are still working how, how we can, I mean, get this benefit from the, these properties. You know, as mentioned earlier in the beginning, that when we found even 100 years and the, 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 the fiber is still even intact compared to the fiber from, you know, the, the coconut, easily being degraded, being degraded very fast. But this one is different. Okay, this is how the develop uh, development uh, took place. Of course, the, this should be hybridized. You know, you cannot stand alone because we don't believe that uh, we still have the uh, don't have the confidence to use hundred percent from sugar palm. So we add glass fiber as well, uh, and it was successfully uh, developed and launched in our I mean in the lakes at our faculty campus. Okay, we try to move further by collaborating with Proton. Uh, to use sugar palm in the more, I mean, serious application in automotive component here called automotive anti roll bar. Uh, we, we, we know that, you know, and we got big project, big money, big fund from the university. And uh, we know that the use, the material used for uh, step bar or anti roll bar was a steel as carbon fiber composite. They are very, I mean, strong material, but we are attempting because we want to go for low cost as well as to to uh, to introduce the uh, the bio based material in the composite material. Uh, the, they also they use the as I mentioned the you know in the market use the composite from the uh, carbon fiber and uh, but uh, we have gone through the whole system from you know conceptual design until the end. So my my job was to come up with uh, some ideas uh, and also concept. Like this is my one of my field. Uh, so I think uh, uh, those who are in the area of uh, conceptual design know this. Uh, this is not my aim to go into very detail about that. So at the end, so our team managed to get this uh, uh, fiber, but it is uh, like a hybridized glass fiber. And you know because of the difficulty in publication, at the, at the end we decided to use uh, vacuum uh, vacuum assisted uh, resin transfer molding, and this is the, the final product. Okay, we submitted the final report, and uh, we hope you know this has become a good experience to us. Experience to us to work with a very and a good company, or the national company, car company. We managed to penetrate. We managed to convince them that yes, this is very important material. Okay, we are talking about. The COVID-19. We also got some grant from the government to work on COVID uh, to help people in COVID-19. Okay, but our contribution may maybe not very big, but 
we have contributed, you know, we, we collected all the, you know, PPE from our, I mean, the health center, and then we mix, uh, we, we crush them, and we mix, mix with the sugar palm starch, okay, to form the, uh, uh, we call it the char, the composite char, the, and uh, this is the flow chart, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the process flow from the healthcare center, we got PPE, and isolation gown, we pulverized them, we got into the form of folder, we use the process of slow pyrolysis, and we got the char as well as starch, we mix them together, and we have the composite uh, char and su of sugar palm, and uh, we have uh, uh, submitted for patent, uh, and also published in some international uh, journal. This is some of the, of the detail of the you know, material that we use, and uh, this is the flow, the, the, the process, of the, I mean, I mean, taking the the uh, the, the the PPE and 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 to make into the pump in the form of the the powder. And uh, this is the process of paralysis that took place, and it was really big challenge because we was in the middle of lockdown. You know, my student have to you know, uh, I mean, in a very difficult situation to complete the the uh, the, the, the project, but he, he managed to do that on time. Uh, so this is one of the, uh, we found that the, the results are, are good, you know. Um, this I shown you before. So I think I, I will end my presentation today, but just to share some of the publication from our research group, you know, related to natural fiber and some of them even related to sugar palm, you know. Uh, yeah, we publish quite a lot. We got active in publishing book on natural fiber. We on keep publishing. After Javid also, I mean, have the same interests, you know. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, now as the you know uh, promotion for our upcoming uh, conference, you know, we in Trop is the center for the tropical forest and uh, the, the wood and forest in the country. And uh, is it at high national level? I am the, the head of the like department or head of, head of level three. So I'm also the head or the chairman for this conference. I would like to invite you to you know participate in our conference. And this is a fifth of that in kind. Uh, this is really uh, in the past done. Uh, so many uh, people participated. And as far as sugar pump is concerned, uh, we managed to organize uh, one international conference on related to sugar pump alone. Okay. We have uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, support from uh, all over the world, from Europe, from uh, Asia, you know, from even to Brazil, to up to Brazil. They come and to spend, uh, to send papers and become the keynote speaker for our uh, conference on sugar palm and allied fiber, meaning that it's not really restricted to sugar palm. If you have, you know, date palm, you can send, you know, you will come to join our, our, our conference. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize again due to some, you know, uh, technical error. Uh, and then uh, I would like to finish my talk today by some conclusion that sugar palm fiber has great potential as an enforcement in polymer composite. And people really, you know, really know about, they do not know about this, you know, but they, it has got a lot of potential. And we believe that. And we have company uh, resulted from that results as well as uh, the society and the society is, society is growing. We are publishing books and we also organizing international conference on the topic. And we can see also if we have if we have hundred uh, percent sugar palm fiber and sugar palm starch as a composite, it is good for the food packaging industries. With that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to thank uh, you know you know those. Uh, particularly by Palma for the invitation. I'm so honored in my university, my students, and also the ministry, uh, it, uh, my society, Society of Sugar Palm Development, and also the, the, the people, the villagers who support in this project. Thank you so much. Okay, Prof. Sapan, thank you so much for giving a nice and excellent talks on the sugar palm fibers. And Prof. Sapan is the person who have, uh, what you call, they started this research on the sugar palm. So we are already uh, go, going to delay, but we can take some questions. Uh, uh, Brother Kais from Morocco want to ask some questions. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Kais, you can yeah, ask. Uh, unmute yourself, unmute. Uh. 
Yes, yes, now you can ask. Mm. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Sarit, for uh, share with us uh, your knowledge. Uh, for me, you are the reference in the in the composites and biocomposites based on natural fiber. I have just uh, a question about uh, the comparison between the dark palm fiber and sugar uh, uh, sugar uh, palm uh, fibers. If I know, uh, according to the presented application, for example, in the roof or to produce the the boat, uh, I think that uh, you correct me uh, uh, that the sugar uh, uh, palm fiber has a specific hydrophobic properties. Yeah. Yeah, this is really you know, the, the people from industry, so from Indonesia particularly, they always approach me, please help us with this. You know, we have seen very ex special quality in sugar pump. We, we noticed that the, the longer you, it is inside the water, the, the stronger it becomes. Like in, it can withstand the heavy rain. We do not know. We still, still, still don't have the answer yet. Why is, it, is it related to hydropublicity or something like that? But no research has been done. But from our testing and from the experience, they found it is very excellent. That's why in the past, in history, it's being used as the you know uh, the ship cordage and also as the uh, as a small boat. But we still hybridize it with, with glass because we, we don't have the confidence yet. But uh, but the, the people from Indonesia keep you know, approaching us that this is very good material as far as you know resisting from the sea water, salt water. And as com I mean, it's unlike the, the palm, uh, the, the, the fiber from coconuts, or they, they're very weak and very easily degraded. So I, I think I, I will do that research on in uh, terms of the you. Uh, the, the, brother, the, brother guys, don't worry that we will do the comparative study with sugar palm, dead palm, dome fiber, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we you. can Thank take you. another varieties of the palm, and then the, with the Midani, we can do that, you know, the. All people are here from Tunisia, Egypt, and uh, what you call Morocco. So we can look forward on that, you know, doing a one comparative study on that. And we yeah, can yeah. also include the sugar palm and other fibers, you know. So we can do the some comparative study. No problem. Inshallah, we can look forward to work on that, you know. Okay, we well, thank, you. Thank, you so we can work thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very okay, much. Thank you so much. If uh, any further question, because we are already getting late with our schedule program so if if not uh, the uh, and uh, i think there is some question uh, 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 just ramji you want to ask the question yeah uh, yes please because we are not available every day looking uh, for uh, professor mamat safwan who is one of the the most leader in the in the world uh, i yeah. that's why i would like to to ask him uh, one question what kind of the application for the best application of nanocellular oh, from okay. the bulb or, nano or any or another another biomass yeah. is basically in the future yeah, and yeah. The, the, for industrial scale please yeah, basically nano cellulose is very good, you know, in 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 term uh, from the sugar palm because you know what happened, the the fiber as I mentioned is very strong, which you don't know why, you know, it's, it's unique compared to other other others. I mean, the material, the, the natural fiber, but when we start doing it, you know, we, we convert into cellulose and in 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 micron size even to nano cellulose in fabricated or you know the other the other state one that you can recall. So we found it. I mean, we just add a little bit, it's trying to go up and then uh, excellent. And we have so far three PhD students working on that and one master student. And we have very so much confidence on that and we are working on that. And the application, normally people obviously go for uh, food packaging, but we can go beyond food packaging. As you know that, I think I don't have it in my slide, but you know, the, the application of nanocellulose, it, it is tremendous. You can go for... Uh, I mean, the biomedical, you can go for other things which I cannot recall. So a lot of application potential. And not only that, you know, in terms of, I mean, uh, I mean, your uh, visibility, people like to cite the paper in this field. When I venture into nanocellulose, I know my, a lot of, um, of my paper become highly cited papers. And so 
I think it is a very, very good area to, 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 to pursue. I can join, I can um, share with you some of the, you know, application, but so far we restrict our, our application for, I mean, the food packaging, but we, we want to go beyond that. Okay, thank you. Ramzi, no problem. The later on, we can discuss more on it. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, uh, Professor Paul. On behalf of uh, uh, Bay Palma 2021, I'm highly thankful for you for presenting a keynote Welcome. talk on the sugar palm fibers, biopolymer, biocomposite, and other byproducts.